Hello, Nuggets. Okay, um, so uh, let's make a video on... Oh, look. I just noticed that on my screen. It looks like I've got an angel here. Anyway, all right. So um, Football Manager Sports Interactive just dropped a feature preview video. Let's get it up on screen. Um, and it looks fascinating. So I've got it on uh, YouTube. It's uh, They tweeted about it, but if you join, you should subscribe to the Football Manager YouTube page so you get these updates right away. Uh, this was yesterday, this put out, and uh, I had a look through. I saw a couple of commenters, uh, YouTubers talk about it, and they've done the breakdown. And uh, so this is just mine. What's interesting is I really feel that Sports Interactive uh, know the fine tooth comb that their fans are gonna go through because this is so fast that the speed of this, like there's no way you can register the information it's telling you. Like they've deliberately made a one minute video that you kind of have to slow down to get anything from. Otherwise it's just fluff, you know, it's just words flashing on the screen. Um, so I, I think they know, and I actually rather like that. I like that they're like, no, you know what, just play it really fast. They'll, they'll slow it down. Let's make them do a video about it. You know, it's good. It's grassroots campaigning. I don't know whether that's contrived or not, but if it is, it's very clever and I don't mind it because I enjoy it. Um, so here's the video. Let's have a quick look. I've got it playing. Um, let me turn it down on half speed. So your season starts here. Um, does it actually? <laughs> it starts here. All right, so get setting up game database. Okay, this is just fluff. Unless they're telling us that the database loads quicker, which would be nice, but not important. Um, setting up your squad. Okay, so let's have a look at this screen. So I don't see anything new here. Club vision, club info. Where's board? Did that go? Now, I'm one behind, so maybe board was always there, but maybe that's under club info now or club vision. Um, but look, quick pick. I mean, all of this looks the same. This is the squad screen. <laughs> Even they have copy of selection info. <laughs> that's funny. Um, this looks standard, right? Uh, it looks new. It might looks like it might have been brushed up, like the font might have changed a little bit. So let's see. So here are your players with some icons we haven't seen before. Oh, wait, what's that? Con condition. So match condition. Shape. Ship shape. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, match condition. And, uh, hmm. Well, this is probably just, you know, what was it before? It was match fitness and general condition, right? Sharpness. Sharpness. Condition and match sharpness. Okay. It's weird that they would have... I thought the numbers worked really well, actually. So right now, this just looks like all they've done is add umlauts and um, and whatever that is. I don't know what that's called, that little squiggle. Probably a th something. A th 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 A th 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 and umlauts. And they've kind of made it more mobile-like. Hmm. I wonder if that's actually what it looks like in game or if it looks like on mobile. So they're hoping the mobile audience will look at that and go like, oh, icons, that's what we like for FM21 Touch. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. I like the old system. It was like a little radar with a number, right? So uh, you could probably change that with a skin. I don't know. Let's see who got picked out. Wilfred, how lucky you are. I wonder if these players feel like, like I wonder if Yuri Tielemann feels like proud that he made it into the trailer. Uh, okay, find your targets. Okay. Recruitment meeting. Okay. So um, I saw someone, I think it was Loki Doki stopped on this as well. Um, this looks interesting to me. So one of the issues I have with the way you scout at the moment and recruit for your team. So you decide on a tactic. Maybe there's one player you build it around. Maybe you want to force the team into a certain structure. You established... You establish the um, tactic and the roles within that tactic, like in this case, like here, it's deep lying forward, advanced playmaker, ball winning midfielder, ball playing defender, etc. right? And then when you're looking for players to fit that role, you have to just kind of remember, oh, I don't just need a winger, I need an inside, 
inverted winger rather because on the left I'm playing inverted winger so if this suggests that now you can actually bring up your tactic with your scouts and sit down and say let's talk about who we fill in this role here I like that it's not actually really a change to the game it's just an interface change but that's good right that's good because I would forget all the time like I'd be scouting I think the mailman's here um, I would be scouting for roles uh, and I would forget, oh, what I need is a deep-lying playmaker, not an advanced playmaker. Although <laughs> Those two are pretty much interchangeable. Well, a little bit. But, you know, you'd forget which one you want. So this is really handy, actually, if this set. Look, uh, let's see. Here are the reasons why they think our first choice in this role is due to some leave con when the contract ends or something. Deep-lying forward, we lack depth for this role. Oh, click a position to add an agenda point. Yeah, okay, so I can see this being more in-depth, and I think that's really good, actually. You know, it is an interface game. Obviously, it's a management sim, but the interface is such a massive part of it that I'm okay with just interface changes. I think that's its quality of life, right? And there are a lot of things that are in Football Manager right now, screens that you will just never visit. <laughs> you just never look at Oh, you find them after playing, like, you got 10,000 hours in the game. You're like, oh, what's this? Like the heat map. I still don't understand the heat maps. I don't. I wish I did. But every time I look at it, it's like, oh, I'm going to have to YouTube that. I'm going to have to Google that to figure out what the fuck that means. So, but, and there's also screens that I just don't recognize. I've never seen before. So if this is an overhaul to the way you talk to your scouts about the roles that you need fulfilled and why, I like it. That's good. Like a wing back or a deep line forward, for example. Oh, well, they went over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, due to leave as his con as I don't know. Find your players. Let's see. Trying to pause it in time. Transfer market. Oh God, what have they done here? Okay, so yes. So I got confused. I'm confused by this. The new one is ask about availability. I think they actually stop on it to put out. Yeah. Okay. So we know what transfer status is. We know what all of these are, right? Just what's the ask agent about availability? So I was thinking. I think what it might be is that if a player has a contract that's not up for another year, right? So right now, I believe they just ignore you, right? Or they reject you. Or like they might say, I've just signed my contract or I'm not interested in signing. Maybe this is to put them on a short list for future. So like ask agent about availability, maybe the response will be, he'll be looking to move in about a year, right? Or... I can't say anything right now, but at the end of this current contract, he's going to be looking. And here's the right deal for him. So, you know, it, maybe it's that. Maybe it's a little bit of looking forward. Right now, there's not really much way to do that. You can add them to a short list and you just have to kind of remember. Maybe there's a way to add stuff in the calendar about this. That would be very interesting, actually. You can make notes in calendars, but, but it's, I rarely use it. I haven't seen many people use it. I haven't seen many people use the note system for anything other than maybe when they're setting up the team. Sometimes I use it and I've seen others use it. But maybe that's what it's about. Ask agent about the future with this. I assume that means they have an agent. I hadn't thought about that. What if they don't have an agent? Hmm. I don't know. Um, let's see. And handle the media. Okay. Let's see what this is. Okay. Listening intently, okay, we've got names up here. I actually requested in the video I made a couple of days ago, or yesterday, when was it, whenever I made it, um, that this stuff got a little deeper. Okay, so Dan Leach from Goal is, he either has a lot of content or he is content. Must be he is content. Okay, what does that, okay, what does that mean? Okay, will the new signing start? That's it? Am I missing something here? Will the new signing start? What? Hang on. What's? I've got to be missing something there. There's got to be something on the screen I'm not seeing. Additional comments, no comment, confident. Okay, so these are all the stuff that you have already. Although agree is new. Um, Storm out's always been there. Who does that? I think people do it just for shits and giggles, just for the lows. Um, Lee Quinn, like, okay, I mean, look, I don't really know what this means, but if this is implying that they're going to make a bit more of a connection, um, why is her name twice? 
Are they twins? This feels like a mock-up. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a real screen to me. I don't know. Maybe it is and I'm just missing it, but I don't know. It doesn't feel finished to me. And I know it's all work in progress, but anyway. Okay, so nothing there. And then just zoom in on content. Okay, well, look, if they're going to improve the interactions with the media, that's good. Because I've got to the stage, and I think this happens to a lot of um, FM players, that you do it to begin with, and then after a few hundred hours in the game, you're like, oh, fuck it, the media. No, I don't want to talk to them. Because it's the same shit over and over again. If the media is now a relationship that you can develop, that could be interesting. Uh, okay, wait, I missed a little bit at the beginning there. Let's see, what is this? Match day, boom. Anything there? No, that's just the calendar view. 2020, okay. Don't see anything new there. Zooming in. No, it's all the same, although new. Well, is this in-game? Because if it is, then it's new font, which... Again, I'm okay with that stuff. It's important. The quality of li life stuff, make it look nice. Apparently, they want to get the German market involved. Tweak. Twerk. No, don't tweak. Perfect your tactics. Okay, tactics. Pre-match advice. Well, they had pre-match um, briefing. Is this the same? Drop deeper. I mean, yeah, these are all agreed, disagree, oh, disregard. Okay, so they already have this in the game. I think they've just put a new interface on this. I saw, I think it was Fox in the Box or one or... Sort it out, SI. I don't know. One of, one of the other ones. We're talking about this. Um, but this is already in the game. I mean, like, you already get, right now, at least in 2019, you get an email that says, I think we should drop deeper. I think we should play, focus play through the middle. And you can either hit yes, apply, and it will change your tactic, or no. So this, to me, just feels like exactly the same thing, just more in line with the FM 2020 look, right, where you have the agree, disagree disregard in this case but so nothing new there just different way of presenting the data we already get and motivate okay your players tom cleverly hey hey boss did you want a word it, the font is definitely different Ooh, look at that animation okay i saw this mm. okay so i saw this on i think it was loki doki's um breakdown and I felt the same way it was like mm, yeah this is bad this is the, the first wrong step they've made because it completely changes the way sports interactive tells its narrative you opened your arms they got to cut this you opened your arms widely towards the player which appears to improve their body language completely unnecessary so you know we play this game in first person this is now second person right they are now saying, you have said this. So now there's a narrator there, which there never was before. It used to just be, you would click on something to say and the quote would come up. So you feel like, oh, I have said that. Someone now describing what you are doing in the second person is terrible. This is a really bad idea. I hope this doesn't make it in the game because it's going to lose what makes the game so personal and fantastic that you're a football manager. Now... I am an observer of myself being a football manager, if that makes sense. And also, it's fucking lame. You opened your arms widely towards the player. God, you got to hire me, Sports Interactive. <laughs> Which appears to improve their body language. Look, I mean, I'm all for, I've actually said, I would love to be able to have better interactions, more in-depth interactions. I just think that if this is what it is, what it looks like, it's just a bad turn. Okay, and then you say something... I've been really pleased with your recent training performance. Sure, you know, pretty standard. That's good. But mm, no, we definitely don't want that. Manage the game in more detail. Okay, XG. I did, I'm fairly new to this, but this is... Um, I wrote it down. <laughs> this is XG means expected goals. Okay. So expected goals is a metric, right? It's a statistic, a way of calculating the given chance of a player scoring based on certain criteria. The angle to goal, who's in front of him, the strength of the foot they're on. I don't know all the ins and outs, but basically it's a metric, right? And they have used that metric in the last few years to say, well, we expect this many goals versus this many goals. And then compared it. There was one example given in an article I read that said 
for example, in the Manchester against, was it Watford? I don't know. Manchester United, uh, not Man United, I wish it was. Man City against Watford, the XG was 6-0 and the game was 8-0. And everyone was saying like, well, it's a good example. They outperformed their XG, but the XG was on the right track. So maybe they're saying now it's in the game, XG. Um, I don't mind. It might be something I don't use. Um, that's the wonderful thing about Football Manager, right? There's a lot of details and data and stats and ways of looking at things that you don't ever have to use. So it might become useful. Um, I like the idea they've got it in the game because I feel like sometimes I do feel like I don't understand why I'm losing, <laughs> which I know in a strategy game you've got to expect to a certain extent, but sometimes it feels really out of left field. And I think a lot of it is those those FM when players get FM'd, if you know that expression, where you outplay the team, you're top of the league, they're bottom of the league, you get 40 shots, you get 30 on target, you get three clear-cut chances, you get four half chances, and you lose 1-0. And that kind of shit drives me nuts. And I always think, like, I've even said on forums before, it feels like the game's doing it deliberately. Everyone's like, no, no, it's not doing it deliberately. You're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong. Well, any more statistics or data that can help us decode why that happened would be good. Maybe XG will do that. Um, yeah, so I like that. I didn't like the presentation of it. Shop map, what's that? Oh, high XG. Maybe this is to do with it. A low expected goals, high expected goals, point a. Hmm. What are the different symbols? I don't know what the different symbols mean. I assume it means this is where... If you're shooting from here or you're shooting from here, although the coloring looks weird. Like, I guess maybe this player, right? They're saying, you know, if he's shooting from out here, he's not going to score. If he's shooting from here, he's going to, he's got better chance to score. So when you're playing this player, work the ball into the box. Maybe that's the way it's thinking. I don't know. Or play the ball over the defenders and have them run onto it. Something like that. Uh, okay, playing on. This is the thing I don't understand. Right, so the heat map. I hate the heat map. I don't get it. When I'm looking at it, like, look, here's Leicester against Watford. You see the red here? What does that mean? Does that mean they were in that area a lot? Does it mean that Leicester forced them into that area or they wanted to be into that area? I, it's so confusing to me. Okay, it's probably really simple and I just don't get it, but I don't get it. Wait, just said before. That was weird. Oh, detail. Playing a game in detail than ever before. Okay, so wait. So that implies they're not changing this screen. Well, maybe they're going to make it a little bit easier to understand for the plebs like me. I hope so. I hate the fact that I don't understand the heat maps because I feel like I would like to get even more into the strategy. Okay, dominate the touchline. Make the calls, sure, that matter. What's this? Oh, can you call out? Wait, is this the interaction screen? Yeah, what is this? Okay, so it looks like they've got new graphics on the sub. This is when you bring on Nakunku came on for Danny. Um, yeah, maybe it's just an easier way of dropping players. The thing is, I can never drop like this because I can never remember what they actually the positions they like to play. Unless I've set up, if I have the energy, I'll personalize positions. So if I had Halstenberg and I know he's always the wing back on defend, I like him, or he's the fullback, I, he plays, plays better as a fullback, I'll have personalized that position. So whenever I bring him on, he just knows to play that. Maybe this implies that you've done, done that already, or maybe there's a way to set that up. I really don't like this heart with this line. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Like, look, this is darker green. This is lighter green. You can't see because of a thing. But look, this down here. This down here. I don't know. All right. So that's that. And lead your team to glory. Fucking dogs. Okay. Ooh, let's have a look. Okay. Yes, I forgot this is in the trailer. So let's have a look. Do we see anything different here? Uh... Nothing there. No. Stadium looks a little better. Is that just me? I don't know. Looks a little better. Looks more full. I mean, it actually kind of looks logical. <laughs> I mean, it's not beautiful, but I'm okay with it not being that beautiful. But uh, this looks pretty good. Everyone's running in the right directions. Dost. So far, so good. 
I love that they represent um, people with disabilities. I do. I don't. I really like that. Anyway, um, tops game cards. Okay, that went in. Is that it? Do we see anything else on here? Oh, I guess. Hang on. That's a new graphic down the bottom. I think you can remove a lot of this stuff from your screen based on the skin, but maybe the default skin just has a lot less stuff now. Because this uh, this UX UI down here is uh, I like it. It's nice actually. It's very clean. Looks more like a modern football game on TV. Okay. Kick it out. Generation. Anything in there? Special effect. The game is charity. Nothing new here. Keep TV camera right there. I hope you can boot it into them. These things never have um, collision. They should give them collision. That would be a nice little Easter egg in the game. You boot the ball out, it hits him, it knocks him out. <laughs> Just little touches like that. Sports Interactive. You don't have to do much, right? That's actually very simple to do. Um, it would be nice. Now what's going on with these billboards? Very distracting. Um, okay. Oh, look at this. What's on the bottom? God damn it. I can't see because of the YouTube bar. But what is that? Full tactics. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a smaller interface. Which is, uh, I don't know, because I like seeing a lot of stuff on the screen while I'm watching it. There's a lot of stats I need to see. So maybe, I mean, they're going to show this because they want to show the match engine, right? Okay, so moments to remember. Hoffenheim, not many. Biggest win. What's this? This looks very... Okay, so that doesn't look like it's in-game. <laughs> this looks very much like uh, it's created content just for the trailer or for the features uh, preview. But I like it. Okay, so there's a page you can go to. It says work in progress right there. Okay, so there's a page you can go to which tells you your biggest win, your highest scoring match goal of the season. You know what? I like this stuff because uh, particularly I like reviewing the season. I know if you're streaming the game or if you're doing YouTube series, it's nice to have a screen where you can point all this out. It's, you know, it does remind me a little bit like Facebook, like, hey, you want to make a video of your memories this year? And it's not at all your personal approach to life. You're like, no, that's not how I feel about anything. But this looks okay. I like it. Hopefully you can click on this stuff and it will go, like, it will take you, would you like to know more? Would you like to know more? Um, but I like this. It's a nice looking screen. I like how clean it is. Also, when you end a season right now, uh, let's say you win the league or you get promoted or you win the cup or whatever, um, before you start on the new season, you're like, okay, let's check the contracts. Let's go to the transfer market. It The game doesn't really have a very good breather. Obviously, you can just pause the game, but it doesn't give you a finality. It would be nice to have a screen that says, like, right, take a moment. Let's look at what you did. Let's really digest what the players like. I should have put this in my video because I thought about this before. Like, let's talk about every single position about their, how they played. Not just average rating. Let's talk about... Because you can do that now, right? You can look at their uh, their tackles made, their key passes. You can do all of that. But it would be nice to have some screen at the end of the season that really helped evaluate this thing and maybe talk to your scouts. That would be good. That sounds like a lot of work. I doubt if they've done that. but um, Okay, so, but in principle, yeah, this screen's cool. I don't mind that. It won't look like that. I'd be very surprised. Oh, and that's it. All right, well, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Actually, kind of happy with that. Um, excited about the game. I've pre-ordered out on November 24th. Where are we now? 13th of October. So a few weeks before we get into the beta. I hope I'm in it. I assume anyone who pre-orders is in it. I hope so. Oh, it's got really dark in here suddenly. Um, that's it. Pretty excited. Hope you are too. Um, leave some comments if you have any questions about it. Leave some comments if you don't know anything about Football Manager and you want your world to be opened up to how fantastic this fucking game is. All right, you little nuggets.